Welcome to Adobe Illustrator CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover Illustrator's preferences. So if you're on a Mac, you'll look for the Illustrator icon at the top here. On a PC, as I'm using now, you go under the Edit menu, go down to Preferences, and choose General. Uh, there is a hotkey of Control-K or Command-K on a Mac. So these are the preferences here. And um, many of them you can leave kind of at the default. Uh, I'm going to work my way down up. So we have, like, if you want to see 100% black or uh, rich black, as an example, you can see the examples there. How you want the, the screen to display by default is the rich black, which is, I think, is better viewing. Uh, for file handling, uh, this is really important for data recovery. You can set this to two minutes by default, but you can extend it or shorten it. So it's pretty useful if your file gets. Um, you know, starts to crash, you have a backup copy essentially through the auto recovery. Um, most of the other options here you can pretty much leave at default. Your GPU performance, if you have a um, compatible graphics card and enough uh, to handle the animated zoom, this will automatically be checked. But um, like mine is here, um, you can see here the NVIDIA graphics card that I have for this system under user interface this is a kind of a nice feature you can change um, basically the workspace so if you prefer working in more like the Autodesk software they tend to have a darker background you can choose that or a light if you want to go back to the old school uh, Adobe Illustrator and um, the medium dark is the one by default under um, oh I want to mention also that uh, with this you can also add white for the the actual background by checking this little box instead of match user interface brightness which is kind of cool. Um, plug in scratch disk basically if you need to set up a, a folder for that you can. Um, most of these other ones like the slices you don't want to really adjust necessarily or the hyphenation. Um, smart guides though um, I like to leave this particular color but you know if you have uh, issues with seeing this color you can change it out um, but I like the default settings here uh, under smart smart guides or guides and, and grid here um, here sometimes I will change the grid color it's default to this kind of gray um, and especially for viewing on you know, his recordings here it might be better to have a more intense color here for example this sort of you know dark blue uh, you can set up your grid system here how many uh, subdivisions you want which is pretty cool let me go ahead and click OK here and uh, under view I'll go down to show grid and you'll see that sort of bluish purple kind of grid um, if you don't like that we can go back to edit preferences uh, go back to the general menu here and go back to guides and grids and just choose that gray uh, what it was before which I believe was this one here, and click OK. Uh, let's see. Under Units, uh, by default, it's set to the points here, which I think are fine. Um, you, Depending on what you're doing, you could set it to something else. If you're working for the web, you can set it definitely to the, the pixels, for example. You uh, can also do this in your, um, your main document when you actually create it. Under Type, uh, there's some options here basically to set the uh, size letting and baseline shift basically for the standards. Again, most of the stuff I, I prefer to keep pretty much where it's at. Um, selection anchor points again also, but you can customize this. If there's anything in here that you want to swap or try something different, all you got to do is try it out and it's okay. There is one feature under general that I definitely like to check. Uh, that's why I waited for the last for this which is the scale strokes and effects. By default this is not checked and I think it's it's pretty strange that it's not checked by default. It's kind of like the live paint bucket um, where you can't paint the strokes. It's one of those things that you're just like why isn't this already checked? It seems strange to me. Let me show you what it looks like without it. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to get rid of this um, grid by going to view hide grid and I'll draw out a, a rectangle here. So it has a red fill and a black stroke. I'm going to increase the stroke to like nine say and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down quite a bit so I'm going to scale it way down and you'll notice how thick 
that um, stroke looks in proportion to the fill, right? Um, and it was a fairly decent stroke, but it's still pretty crazy there. So let's try this out again uh, under Edit Preferences. Go back to General, and now let's scale strokes and effects. Click OK. I'll go ahead and draw a rectangle again. Um, so same settings, and this time I'll scale it down just by grabbing the black arrow. And what you'll notice is that the stroke has scaled proportionally to the fill. And this is really great because then your your artwork doesn't change drastically. There's not some weirdness that happens there. So again, that's under Edit Preferences uh, General here. You just want to make sure that's checked. So that's a really important feature is the scale strokes and effects. Uh, basically, this is an overview of the preferences in Illustrator. You can go ahead and experiment, check them out. Uh, but the main one, the one I really recommend you changing is the scale strokes and effects. Just check that little box there and then click OK. All right, that's it for Adobe Illustrator CC. See you uh, soon. Until next time. Cheers.